What's going on my soul family? Today I have a very hot topic that I'm going to be sharing with you. Repression of the feminine energy. Now before we get into that, I want to help you understand what masculine and feminine energy is. Masculine energy is structure. It is all about achievement. It is personal freedom. It is all about the decision in bringing things to an end. We all carry both masculine and feminine energies within ourselves, within our systems. The feminine energy is expression. It is laughing, singing, dancing, crying. It is flow. It is movement. It is the beautiful Mother Earth. It is the woman's hair blowing in the wind. It is music. It is beer flowing. That is the feminine energy. And we as a society have repressed the feminine energy. And now let me say this and make this very clear. Without feminine energy, you nor I would want to live on this planet. Why? Because it would be very dark and gloomy. Because there would be no radiance. There would be no love and light, which is all the feminine energy. Think about that. How much have you repressed your feminine energy from the time we are little baby kids. We are brought into a masculine society that is all about achievement, structure, success, building, becoming someone, accomplishment. Not saying that any of that is bad because it's all great, but we have repressed the feminine energy. We are taught from a very young age that if you express yourself, if you're being too much, if you're laughing, if you're singing, if you're dancing, if you're crying, then go sit in the corner and be still. You're in time out, which is like saying, go practice your masculine energy and repress your feminine. Stop expressing yourself. That's not good. Crying's not welcome here. Crying makes you weak. Crying is bad, right? We've all been exposed to that conditioning. Now, when that happens, total repression of the feminine energy. If you're bad and you keep expressing yourself too much, which is like what this is saying, then you will be grounded, which masculine energy is grounding, right? It is stillness. So now as we grow older and we become adults, men have repressed the feminine energy within them and women have repressed the feminine energy within them. Men have been taught that any expression, any emotion is very bad. It makes you weak. And if you can't connect to your own feminine heart as a man, then how are you going to connect with a woman? How will you ever understand how to connect with her if you haven't connected with your own feminine heart? You can't. Now with a woman, if she's repressed her feminine energy, she's built these masculine walls around her feminine heart because she no longer feels safe. Because she was taught to not trust the masculine energy, so she starts animating her own. Now when she goes to try to connect with a divine masculine man, she may repel him. It's like if you have a magnet, two magnets, and they both are in their positive, they will repel. Now if they come into a positive negative, they will attract. The masculine feminine is like the positive negative. When she is in her masculine, they will repel if he's in his masculine as well. Or she will energetically attract to her a very feminine man. And she's like, why does he have so much emotion going on? I don't understand this. You attract your energetic reciprocal. So with a woman working in her feminine heart, she has to first learn how to feel safe with the masculine energy. It's about learning how to trust the masculine energy again. Now I get it. You, like I, was exposed to very unhealthy masculine energy growing up. My father was the perfect example of unhealthy masculine energy. He never showed me how to be a divine masculine. He was very abusive. He was very hurtful. He tried killing me multiple times. I went down many dark paths with my dad. I was never good enough for him. My father slept with a 12-gauge shotgun behind his door. Now, if I was out in the other room being in my feminine energy, expressing myself, laughing, singing, dancing, playing, I heard one of two things. Jake, shut up and 
The next thing I heard was click, click, which was the loading of that 12 gauge shotgun, him coming down the hallway, threatening to shoot me with that, waving the barrel in my face. So this is the type of environment that I grew up in, a very unhealthy, masculine energy. When I was just trying to be a kid, I was just trying to play. I was just trying to sing, laugh, dance, cry, probably break a couple of things, right? That was the environment that I grew up in. So now, if a woman doesn't feel safe, because she doesn't trust the masculine energy. She's gonna have a very hard time connecting with a romantic partner. She may be able to be best friends with a man. That's great, because maybe they're both in their masculine and you could be best friends. But if she doesn't trust and feel safe with the masculine energy, she won't connect with him in an intimate level. So for the first thing for a woman, she has to start feeling safe. And she does that by allowing her own divine feminine nature to arise in her heart. Now, this is a process and it takes time to work through this. So you have to be gentle with yourself. Now, for the men, you have to stop repressing your own feminine energy. Because here's the thing. You appreciate feminine energy whether you know it or not. Feminine energy is flow. It is beauty. It is radiance. And you love that within a woman. And that's why you're so attracted to the feminine energy and you crave that feminine energy. Maybe it's a sweet fragrance that you smell. Maybe you see her hair blowing in the wind and you're like, oh, that's so beautiful. Or maybe you're in nature, which is feminine. Mother Earth is feminine or the ocean is feminine. You appreciate so many things that are feminine that you might not even know are feminine. So for men, you have to start honoring the divine feminine. And woman must start to honor the divine masculine. So if you appreciate his presence, you appreciate the stillness, you appreciate those things, and you start to honor the divine feminine goddess within you, which is like, I give the example of like a flame moving. She is the dancing flame. She is that moving where the masculine is just still. And it's so beautiful to see the radiance of a woman who's in her divine feminine, who has claimed by saying, this is who I am. I am a divine feminine goddess. This is who I am. And for a man saying, I am a divine masculine. I practice the stillness, but I honor the feminine energy within women, within the planet, within the universe, and within myself. So if you have repressed feminine energy, I am curious to know what your thoughts are. If this video brought you value, feel free to share it with someone that you love that could benefit from this. Stay grounded, stay loving, and stay connected to that beautiful source within you.